Well, the golf course, traditionally a place where you can drive, chip, and putt, or hack at it if you're like me, mm -hmm. but you can also get a I don't need that. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I heard that, but you can also get a lesson in STEM while you're on the green. It just popped out. I'm sorry. <laughs> KSHP 41 News reporter Todd Palmer joined a group of students and gives us a closer look. Golf is more than just a game. There's actually a lot of math and science that goes into maintaining the grounds at a place like Heritage sure, Golf Course yeah. in Olathe. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Where the groundskeepers invited around 50 kids for a STEM field trip on Wednesday, and we got to follow along. But it was disgusting. Yeah, the worm. Uh, but then when he got it out of his hands, there were like 20 people. Ah! Yeah. It was hilarious. Bugs and worms and the ways they enrich the soil, water quality and water drainage, the different types of grass and how it's nurtured and mowed. There's a lot that goes into keeping a golf course healthy and green, and a few dozen Olathe fourth graders learned all about it. Hello, Sabri. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool to like know how like sand you use to actually sand for in the green fields instead of normal like soil and, and dirt. And I thought that was really cool because I didn't know that sand was like smoother than normal like dirt and soil. So I was like, okay, that's the new thing I learned today. The event was part of the Golf Course Superintendents Association of America's first green program and led by Heritage Park Golf oh, Course Superintendent wow, wow. Ethan Shamit. Basically, we bring kids out to the golf course and teach them about what we do and incorporate STEM into the learning process. And they also made it super fun. It was probably the best field trip I've had in a while cool. because I love golfing. It's my favorite thing to do. Millie wasn't the only one who enjoyed today's field trip. For the fourth graders at Tomahawk Elementary, today was a hole in one. In Olathe, Todd Palmer, KSHB 41 News.